Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the installment of Scott Selections here for Saturday, December 12th. Uh, it's currently 11.24 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday, but since I'm going to be making a show anyway, there is one game I like in particular, and I decided that since I have some free time on my hands, I would make the video a little bit earlier tonight. So hopefully all of you can get this play because this line should end up moving. Uh, it's going to be in college basketball, but before we do all that, we're going to recap what happened yesterday. We picked up another easy winner in college basketball. We had Iona. Minus two and a half at minus 110 on bet MGM. Line climbed all the way up to roughly four and a half or five. Didn't matter. I only ended up winning by about, I forgot what they won by, 20 plus. It was really just a sweat free win. Fairfield only scored uh, 42 points. So the game really was a blowout from start to finish. Nice, easy win. And we'll look for another easy winner here on Saturday. But, we'll, but uh, looking at today's play of the day, we're going to be looking at a matchup between Stony Brook and Bryant. And I feel like since I mentioned Bryant, you already know where I'm going with this one. It's going to be on the total, and we're going to be taking the over once again here at 155 at minus 110 on Bet Online, a time recording of 11:25 p.m. Eastern Time. A couple reasons why I like the over in this spot. First of all, Brian has played in five games so far this season, and each of those games have told at least 169 points. They've been an over machine. I talked about them before in one of their matchups against St. Francis Brooklyn, and that game totaled 180 points in back to back days. Bryant is second in the entire country in offensive tempo, according to Ken Palm rankings. However, Stony Brook is a team that also likes to play pretty fast, as they are in the top 100. They rank 96th in offensive tempo, according to Ken Palm as well. So because of that, you have two teams, Bryant in particular, who just goes up and down 10 seconds or less offense. And Stony Brook, who is in the top 100, also loves to play an up-tempo style. I see a ton of possessions in this game, as both teams should end up going up and down in transition. A lot of free throws, a lot of three-point attempts lot of points, and I do think that will be the recipe for a nice over in this spot. Now, St uh, Stony Brook has faced teams with fast tempos before the season, as Stony Brook ended up facing off against St. John's. Now, St. John's is currently 15th in offensive tempo, and they allowed 89 points in the process. The game totaled 155, but St. John's defense is a lot better than Bryant's, as Bryant ended up giving up 90-plus points to St. Francis Brooklyn, for example. So I do think Stony Brook should end up getting probably in the – I'd say high 70s to low 80s, and I do think that there is a good chance that Brian could get into the 90s in this matchup for a game that breaks the 170s. Plus, Stony Brook defensively has been very, very bad. I know I just mentioned that St. John's, as a fast-paced team, scored 89. They also faced off against St. Peter's, and St. Peter's ranks 255th in offensive tempo, and yet they still allowed 82 points in the process. So Stony Brook, they lost all five starters last year, brought in a bunch of transfers who are very talented, but defensively, they have no cohesion whatsoever. And I do think that Bryant, with their fast pace, should end up torching this defense for probably around 85 to 90-plus points. Meanwhile, Stonerbrook offensively should be able to generate enough scoring chances against this Bryant defense that is abysmal. Basically, they punt defense to play offense. And I do think that Stonerbrook should get into the, I'd say, mid-70s to – uh, uh, low 80. So for that reason, I do think 155 is a little bit too low. I think this game should get into the 160s. You've already seen a decent amount of line movement on this game. It opened up at 153. It's up to 155, already seeing signs of 155 and a half. This line should continue to fly through the roof. I think it'll probably close at around 158, maybe 158 and a half, because Bryant is definitely not exactly a well-kept secret at this point. And I do think you will see a lot of sharp money and public money coming in on the over if People, you know, take a break from college football and start betting on college basketball in the uh, early slate at the 1 p.m. time. So for that reason, the play of the day once again here for Saturday, December 12th, is going to be on Bryant and Stony Brook over 155 at minus 110 on Bet Online. That's been the Salmon Scott Selections. Good luck to all of you and your respective bets today. Bye, everyone.